If the meerkats were truly cooperating, each individual member of the group would be doing better than if they were living on their own. To test this theory, Tim needed to measure the costs and benefits of them helping each other by measuring if they were gaining or losing weight. How was he to get the meerkats to agree to that? He began by trying to lure them with every food he could think of. Anything that might tickle a meerkat's taste buds. Mealworms, chicken, peanut butter, condensed milk. We tried everything we could find to see if they would eat it. But they weren't interested at all. Despite Tim's best culinary efforts, the meerkats turned up their noses at everything. The team had noticed that there was one food that they would go all out to get hold of. Plover's eggs. It led them to try something new. For plover's eggs, Tim tried hen's eggs. We thought we'd see whether they were interested in the contents of eggs. But what we found out was that they weren't in the slightest bit interested. But then Tim saw meerkats devouring a hen's egg that had cooked in the sun. In the end, our lives changed totally when we discovered this. After two years of valiant failures, this was a eureka moment. Crumbs of boiled egg don't change the meerkat's behavior in the wild, but they do make them cooperative. This discovery was the kickstart the Kalahari meerkat project needed. Hey, my love. Come on. Mm. Hello, my love. Yum, yum. More researchers began to join Tim on his project. Now they could begin to gather proper data on the meerkats. When working with a group, they would weigh an individual three times a day. Now Tim could start to find answers to his big questions. Why does a meerkat actually want to live in a group? Why do they help each other out? And when they do, how do they know what job to do? The study could now get underway, all because of the meerkat's love of a tiny snack. <laughs> <laughs> 